What's up guys, it's the Blind Man back with another tutorial video. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on the Evo of Desmond Bain and also Bruce Brown. So Bruce Brown just got an Evo today and he's got a similar requirement that Desmond Bain had so I want to go over an easy way to try to get the free throws for these Evos because a lot of people might be trying different ways, trying going through playing uh, pickup games, playing just challenge games, whatever other games, um, even playing online, but there's a really easy way of doing it. And shout out to Blazion Invasion for this tip that I just happened to see on Twitter. Uh, it kind of made me think, oh, hey, I didn't think of this, and maybe other people weren't thinking of it. So shout out to him. Give him a follow. He's, he's awesome. Um, great part of the community. Um, you might know him as Blazion Ricks, too. So... Uh, yeah, give him a follow and shout out to him. Uh, and let's look at the requirements here. So Desmond Bain uh, requires seven free throws. All right, so if you're trying to go through pickup or trying to go through something else, then it's going to be hard to draw free throws. But the idea from uh, Blasian Invasion is doing clutch time off offline and waiting with a close game until you get... Um, until you start getting fouled at the end because they will foul you at the end of the game and so you just kick it into Desmond Bain they'll foul you right as you inbound it and let's jump into it so you can see it in action so you do want to keep this close by the way you don't want to get into a uh, blowout game because they're not going to foul if it's a blowout so keep it close uh, Desmond Bain also another reason to know this is a card a lot of people I think are uh, evoing and then selling so uh, when you go and evo Desmond Bain a lot of people are selling them for you know 10 or 20k more because people are not wanting to actually pay to get or, to, or not wanting to spend the time to go through and do the evo so let's uh, let's go ahead and jump ahead here. I'm going to jump to I'm going to keep it close and then jump to the end of the game here, so that you can see what it looks like with the foul inbound. All right, I'm back, and as you can see here, I already just got fouled, so you just want to make sure that you can keep the ball in whoever you want shooting free throws hands. I kept the score at about four points difference. And I think that's a good margin because that allows you to miss a couple free throws, but also won't make them stop fouling you. So I hit them both. We're already at two. And then now what you do is you hit the automatic foul button, or I guess in this case, just let them score an easy two. You hit R1 so that you can select who you're gonna throw it to you throw it into Bane. So already we got two free throws. We're getting ready to get two more here. Again, what you're going to want to do here, I'll go ahead and just stay up here and do it. You're going to want to, well, <laughs> all right, they can try to steal it, but uh, I hit the button to do an automatic foul, um, and I'll do that again here. Uh, you want to foul them and let them shoot free throws so that they can score a little bit but also keep some time on the clock or just let them shoot a wide open three i guess see there i didn't get the ball out to bane's hands in time which is another reason why the free throws are preferred because then you can get the ball out of bounds rather than getting it off a rebound like we just did so these free throws aren't helping me so try to get the ball uh on an intentional foul like that right there um, so we're up eight. I probably should have missed those free throws, so it would have been a little closer, but I think they'll still foul me at six. All right, and R1, hit circle for Bane, and let him foul you. So this is going to be my fifth and sixth free throw attempts here already, and I might be able to, depending on how quick I can get the foul, I might be able to squeeze another another attempt out of this, we'll see. All 
All right, so I did get the intentional foul this time, and now we'll let them shoot a couple free throws, and then hopefully they will foul us immediately. They did not. They backed off. So we still got, I think, six free throws out of the deal. Um, could have been a little executed a little better had I been doing a better job with the intentional fouls. You probably would have got eight, maybe even ten if you're lucky. Um, so that's a that's a pretty good method to get your free throws. I think that's all I needed for Bane because I already had two from another one. Um, another thing I wanted to point out with Bane is also there is uh, other requirements like points I think it was like 37 in a game and then your rebounds points you can get just playing the pickup challenge I recommend doing that anyways because you're gonna get most likely uh, some badge that you can sell so I would play the pickup challenge for that and just score 37 that way and then with the rebounds I do it on triple threat offline uh, just because it's pretty easy for a guard to get a rebound and triple threat offline um, and I like to play that mode anyway is there's probably other ways you can do that one but that's that's the way I prefer and as you can see here we have now the seven free throws for Desmond Bain seven rebounds and we've got the 36 points already so you can also do this with Bruce Brown on his second Evo that he just got today he's got a free throw requirement as well and you can really use this on anybody who has a free throw requirement um, so let's go ahead and Evo him. There we go. I don't have to go back and do free throws for Desmond Bain's Dark Matter Evo. So I'm going to start working on that now. But for those of you who are picking up Amethyst Desmond Bain because he's a little cheaper and want to go that route with the Evo option, then this method should help a lot. Uh, if it does help, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also, again, shout out to Blazion Invasion. Uh, follow him on Twitter or on any of his socials because that was the tip that made me think of making this video. And uh, he's one of the good guys in the community, so I definitely recommend following him. So thanks, everyone, for watching, and, and we'll see you soon.